Hi Flosstube, it's Lee from Creatively coming to you with Flosstube, Flosstube number 28 on Monday the 1st of June. It's Queen's birthday weekend here today in New Zealand so not many people at work except people doing important work like working in the hospital which by the way it's where my dad still is. My poor dad's had a bit of a rough time of it. His surgery went well but he's had some ups and downs and um He's unfortunately one of the rare few who have persistent, uh, I'm going to call them circuitry issues after. So the bypass is good and the valve's working well. They've done a heart scan, everything looks good. But for some reason, the one or two or however many of the various circuits that control your rhythm and, and heartbeat are not playing well. So... He's still not stable, um, they're trying to get him stable and then hopefully transfer him to one of, to either Tauranga or Fakatani, hopefully Fakatani Hospital, to just wait it out for a few weeks um, before they can restart his heart, stop and start his heart again and hopefully have a normal rhythm. So they're a bit perplexed, he's healing well but he's just buggered so... Um, He's like, because I mean, I was meant to be up here to look after him after surgery for, you know, three, four, five, however many long weeks. And he's still in hospital. So he said, go back to, go back to Wellington. Um, and I said, no, nah, I'm going to go to Kawaro. So I've come to his house and I'm going to sort a few things out from here. Like um, the fact that the house was supposed to have been finished being painted and everything is still in a pile in the middle of the house and behind me is scaffolding. I've got the couches very close to the tally. I've got things in front of the tally like, um, I don't know, chairs and blinds and skirting boards and <laughs> it's a bit of a mess. So I've left a message for the painter to say, hey dude, what's happening? Um, Dad was like, give him money. I'm like, mm, might see if he's going to finish first. Hopefully he can get it finished this week, right? It looks like he's got one coat done and just needs to do a second coat. Um, and then put the blinds back up, which I guess I could do, but probably needs two people. Put the blinds back up and he needs to put the skirting boards back on. And then uh, give the place a jolly good clean. I've given it a bit of a surface dust. There's kind of plaster dust everywhere. Um, to be fair, he didn't know I was coming home today, but to be fair, Dad was supposed to be home last week, so I don't know what's happened. We'll sort it out. Um, yeah. So, Dad's in... Yeah, um, basically, I'm two-hour drive. If the traffic's good, I've got a two-hour drive if I need to get back there. And if he hasn't been transferred this week, I'll go back at the weekend and visit... Um, pick up any laundry and drop them off clean undies and stuff like that so crazy right so I'm going to set up and work in my stepmother's old room next week it's just the opposite end of the house far away from um, where this noisy stuff might happen um, I've rung, yeah I've got a few going to pay a few of dad's bills for him because he yeah, again Went into hospital about three weeks ago, not expecting to stay in hospital for however long. Um, I did do a bit of stitching, so I will show that in a minute. I've taken a separate little video for that. Um, a little bit of stitching, all I've worked on. Um, it's been a weird week. I had to change houses partway through the, well, the week. I don't even remember when. The weekend was... Um, my friend who I was staying with, unfortunately, her mum passed away on Saturday, so I felt like I should evict myself so that they have an extra bed for family and um, stuff. And weird transition. Somehow I went from talking about my friend's mum's passing and then straight to the video about my cross-stitching, so that's kind of weird. So, yeah, here is where I'll show you what I cross-stitched. Um, it's not my best work. I mean the video. Thanks. So my stitching this week has been, um, was a new start and all I've worked on is Prairie Moon, the red and the black. It was terrible lighting where I was staying so this um, was quite visible for me. I was able to stitch this just with an, a single overhead light and my um, plus one readers. So yeah, 
So I'm stitching it on. Um, sorry, I'm so I dropped the phone. I'm stitching this on a 36 count grandpa sleeve, which I love, and it's by XG Designs. And I'm using PR. 070 which is the black silk from Silks For You and I'm using O Scarlet uh, from Victorian Motto Sampler Shop. It was in their fabulous red collection that came out maybe in February. So I love it. And here's what I've done. So that, yeah, started this Sunday, uh, yeah, probably, probably Monday week I started this. Um, and that's where I've got to. It's a quick, quite a quick little stitch. It's fun um, because the red is all pretty much fill in, so you don't. And you know, it's such such each little section, each of these were quite repetitive. I mean, they took a little while these two, but pretty repetitive. And yeah, I'm just working my way up through there, and I am really, 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 really happy with it. So yay. So then at least last week had something. Um I was supposed to work more than I did and I didn't. Um I struggled. I was so distracted and just worried about dad and I couldn't concentrate. So I probably did I'd be lucky if I did two days of work last week. So maybe maybe ten, twelve hours. So I'll just take the rest as annual leave and um then I just sat, listened to podcasts and Sat and did some stitching because that's what I needed to do. And then between visiting dad and running errands and stuff, so yeah, very happy with it. Um, okay, that's all I've got. So yeah, that's all my stitching. It's the first of June, so I'm going to start my June start tonight. I'm going to find a lamp and put a few stitches into Long Dog Hoity Toity. So I'll have something to show you next week for that. And yeah, oh, and there's a winner. I'll insert a picture here. Um, I meant to draw this last week. A winner of the lavender and lace chart. I can't remember what it's called. It's somewhere. Um, I've got it here, and I can post it. I brought it with me to post. Um, and I'd ask people to put the word angel in their comment, and I use the random YouTube comment picker thingy. And here's a picture for that. So congratulations to Vicky Kershaw. Um, so Vicky, if you could, I'm going to comment on your message, but I know that I always get, come through into inboxes. So if you could email me, um, I, yeah, my email address is in, below in the doobly-doo, um, as, or you can message me on Instagram, that's in there as well, and just let me know your mailing address, and I will get that in the post to this week. Well, I'll get into the post as soon as I hear from you. Just be aware, if you're not, if you're not in New Zealand, it's going to take a while to get there. It'll get there. Just, you might have forgotten it's coming, and it will arrive one day. Um, but thanks for entering that, and again, I still haven't responded to any of the many comments and kind thoughts and things from everybody for the last couple of weeks I will do that I just haven't it's yeah front of mind has just been um keeping up with what's happening with the dad and then communicating it out to the various I mean basically I'm the conduit to all the people who care so yeah that's all I've got so thanks again um short video hopefully next Sunday we'll be back to something a little more structured, a little less scattered, and I'll have a little bit more to show. Um, considering this is a floss tube video, and really it's been five and a half minutes to be talking about my dad and his renovations. Um, again, thanks for your support, and um, yeah, tune in next time for what should be a regularly scheduled program. Uh, don't let your needles rust. Ciao.